So now let's talk about multi-objects. So in order to work with multi-objects, I'm going to go on to my scene setup right here. And then I'm going to go on to my starter pack and I'm going to choose this uh, watch right here. So you can see that this is the watch and I can rotate around, I can zoom in. And over here you can see that this is actually made up of uh, many different components. And you can even enable and disable the materials by going over here onto the watch menu, disable this out, disable the body, disable the glass, and disable the entire rim. I can individually turn them on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it on onto um, my uh, composition right here and you can see that it's a single object. Yes, yeah, so you can go into group and then change its um, position and so forth right here. By like going on to particle replicator, there's the rotation right here, there's the particle look and you can go uh, for the particle size and so forth. We did that in the previous lesson. But right now, we're going to work with something called multi-objects. And, uh, and in order for you to uh, see it clearly, I'm going to create a new camera right here. And I'm going to uh, rotate this around so that you can see the model from a different angle. So I'm going to orbit the camera right here, just like this. right? And I'm going to zoom this in a bit. Let's track this in just like that. All right, there you go. I'm just going to drag this up as well. So just drag the camera up. All right. So you can see that this is made up of different objects. So right now, if I were to change this out, like if I were to change the particle size, the entire watch just in changes the size and go for rotation, uh, only the watch rotates. But if I were to enable multi objects, then I can see something else happening. So multi object is uh, located under group itself under particle look you'll be able to see this thing called multi object right here There you go. This is the one you expand this you can see that right now the multi object is disabled And so in order to enable it simply click on enable multi object And you can see that a whole range of options just comes up and show you what multi object can do uh, I'm then going to use the displacement option. So just click and drag and you can see that now the body plots are flying away just like that as you can see right there. So uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the elementary you, can, you could see that these were different parts and if I were to just see it out you can see that now the watch has been displaced. I can also do different displacement right here. There's the Y displacement, there's the X dis displacement, and so forth. There's even scatter. You can work with out, uh, uh, work that out right there, and you can see that now the watch parts are scattering out. You can also do a cool little animation with this scattering animation right there. You can also displace. You can also do a displace random, and you can see that there are a whole bunch of. Uh, objects flying around right there so I can use my orbit camera tool and you can see that this is a total 3d object it's made up of different objects all of the objects are divided just like that once you use this displacement multi object feature as you can see there's not a way to individually control the multi objects but you can do a cool little animation with this so that is how uh, multi objects work inside of element 3d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe